Hey everyone, Sam with Team 4 Flight here. Today, I want to walk you through 4 Flight Briefing, which revolutionizes the wall of text pre-flight briefing that pilots have endured for decades, while providing the same accurate information they trust to prepare them for their flight. You can access 4 Flight Briefing the same way you access the Legacy Text Briefing. With the flight plan entered in the File and Brief view, tap Brief at the bottom to request a weather briefing. Once it's loaded, Tap the menu button in the upper left corner or swipe right to see a basic summary and a list of sections in the briefing. Orange dots indicate that all or part of a section hasn't been viewed. Close the menu by swiping left or tapping the X button. The briefing begins with important safety advisories, including TFRs, closed or unsafe notums, and airmets and sigmets. These pages are laid out in a split-screen view, where you can select from a list of advisories on the left and view the details of each advisory on the right. Tap Next at the bottom of the left column to move to the next page. The details on the right include when the advisory is active, and below that if it's active during your passing time. Green means the advisory will not be active during or near your passing time, orange means the advisory will be active near your passing time, and red means the advisory will be active during your passing time. The page also has a map showing the advisory overlaid on your route, and below that is the translated text of the advisory. You can view the original raw text by tapping Show Raw Text at the bottom of the right column. The synopsis page provides an overview of the weather trends for each area your route passes through that day, and includes a surface analysis chart that you might recognize from the imagery view. Moving on to the current weather section, the METARS page lists the conditions and flight categories at airports along your route. Tap the plain text slider in the upper right to translate the coded text into English, and tap the clock icons next to each airport to view previous METARS. Any recent PIREPs along your route are shown on the PIREPs page. The Area Forecast page is similar to the Synopsis page, but provides more detailed weather information and outlooks for the areas along your route and includes a six-hour prog chart. A similarity also exists between the METARS and TAFS pages, with the latter providing TAFS for select airports along your route. Forecasts that will be valid at each airport when you pass them are highlighted, with the time of passing on the left. If another forecast at an airport will become valid within an hour of your passing, the time difference in minutes is shown next to that forecast. For example, this forecast will become valid 43 minutes after I pass that airport. This feature lets you know if weather conditions might take a turn for the worse near your passing time. Next up are NOTAMs, including departure, destination, all the en route NOTAMs, general FDC, and uncategorized NOTAMs. All these pages have a common layout, with the map and plain text slider at the top, and the NOTAMs below. Lastly is the miscellaneous section, which includes any bulletins issued by the National Hurricane Center and three days of convective outlooks from the Storm Prediction Center. The legacy text briefing is also provided at the end of the new briefing. The bar at the bottom of the screen shows how long ago your briefing was retrieved, and if your departure time is more than five minutes in the future, you can update the briefing by tapping the refresh button in the bottom left. Forflight briefings are timestamped and stored on your mobile device and in the Forflight cloud along with their associated flight plan as long as you keep them, providing a record that you obtained weather and pertinent NOTAMs in compliant manner with the FAA regulation on pre-flight action. If you want to go back to using the legacy text briefing, or have been using the old one and want to give Forflight briefing a try, you can easily enable or disable it in More, Settings, File and Brief. You can read more about Forflight Briefing in the Pilot's Guide to Forflight Mobile, available in-app under Documents, Catalog, Forflight, or on our website under Support. And if you have any questions, feel free to send them to team at forflight.com.